Welcome to the second part of our video series looking at beautiful places to visit in Elite Dangerous. If you missed part 1 of the series it's linked on screen now. In this second part we're going to be looking at some of Commander Rini's favourite places that are between 100 and 500 light years from Sol. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. So the first place we're headed to is the Hyadum Eye system at just 161 light years from Sol. Upon arrival head straight to the rings of the first planet. This unremarkable ringed gas giant is just 90 light seconds from its parent star and as a result what would be some fairly ordinary rings are beautifully bathed in the abundant starlight. Before you go however Hyadum has more to offer. Head to planet 2b and witness one of the smallest moons in the game with a radius of just 150 kilometers. You can see the curve of the planet almost all the way down to the surface as you descend from orbit. Next up is HIP12099 216 light years from Sol. Surface scan planet 1a and you'll find the stack Inra base, a spectacular secret experimentation site. As well as being able to gather some materials and some audio logs you'll also see some fairly grim direct evidence of Inra's experiments on live Thargoid specimens when developing the mycoid virus weapon. The system is also famous for being the final resting place of Commander Jameson which you'll find on planet 1b. Next at 330 light years from Sol you'll find HIP 83506. When you arrive check out the beautiful hollowed out asteroidal starport of Harvard base orbiting just 14 light seconds from the entry star. The hollow asteroid bases are always a sight to behold but the proximity to its central star takes Harvard base to a whole new level. 368 light years from Sol you'll find HR1185 and your chance to see a functioning Thargoid in relative safety in a beautiful location. Scan the system and you'll find a permanent distress signal. Upon arrival you'll be greeted by a Thargoid decimated imperial fleet and if you're lucky a lone Thargoid ship searching the remains. If you don't get the Thargoid first time round keep re-instancing and eventually you'll see her. Don't take any outwardly aggressive actions or get too close and get yourself a good look at our galactic neighbours. The Taygeta system is our next stop and you'll find it 409 light years from Sol. It's just a beautiful system to explore in and of itself due to the purple hue granted by the light from the central star. Be sure to stop by the station of Titan's daughter hovering just above the rings of its host planet. Always a solid must visit for the burr pit for the spectacular views it affords. And finally the Thargoid ground installation on planet 2 of Mel22 sector SK-E B12-1. The snappily titled system is host to one of the galaxy's mysterious Thargoid ground installations. No one really knows what they are and the chattering Thargoid drones that litter the area around the site aren't telling. Is it just a base or are they building something altogether more mobile with a more sinister agenda? Either way for now at least it makes for some beautiful if creepy sightseeing. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.